coach has been wanting your length in rebounding. So how have you been focusing on kind of making your time worthwhile? Um, yeah, like you said, he, he feels like I can help on the you know, defensive side, help more rebounds and stuff like that. So just going out there and just trying to, you know, contribute anywhere I can, um, trying to connect guys, connect guys out there defensively. Um, just keep the team kind of, you know, connected, be a leader out there, you know, so to say, and just kind of just do whatever I can to help the team win, you know, whatever you know, out there, really. Being connected, I mean, how much is that a, a challenge that you guys have faced that you're trying to work on right now? Uh, yeah, it's kind of just been like a challenge through the whole season. I'm just trying to stay connected, stay together through everything that's been going on. Uh, but, you know, it's just something we pick, kind of put emphasis on. Uh, you know, just being out there, kind of communicate. Uh, it's really just kind of been the main thing, just talking through it, talking through the rough patches, just talking through the, the rough games, just, just trying to stay connected, stay together, stay together. When did Coach Holman make me talk to you and say, this is what we define your goal as? It was after I'm not really sure after what game. Um, he just kind of, you know, told me that you know the team might need to be a consistent 10 to 15 minute guy just to you know go out there and do what I do, bring what I bring, uh, the energy, the connectedness, the defensive versatility, the you know offensive rebound, and just the, you know everything that I go out there and I try to do. He just kind of said he feels like the team needs that, and as a staff, they feel like the team needed that. So um, that's kind of just how the role kind of. It was kind of a more recent conversation, though, right? Like the last like maybe two three weeks. Uh, or, yeah. When, like in, in your situation, where you come back from the injury and you're kind of fighting your way trying to figure out like how you fit on the team when you have a defined role when the coach just you know, says look this is what we see how much does that help when you when you kind of know what you can try to seize upon and, and provide uh, I, I'd say it definitely helps it kind of gives you a sense of you know, direction of how you can get on the court how you can contribute so um, kind of before I was just trying to you know of course before the season you know I kind of had all these expectations and stuff so I was trying to you know act based on that but you know coming in and having that conversation you know getting a defined role kind of it just helps you focus your mindset and focus where you need to put your energy at. Well, what does that feel like when the season starts and you're battling and trying to figure out how your skills best fit into this team, like kind of mid-season, like, like you had to, to do this year? Like, like what, what is that feeling like of trying to see how it, how you fit into the picture? Uh, it was definitely a challenge just because, you know, I've been around the guys for obviously the whole season, but, you know, I wasn't doing anything. I was on the court with them, so that chemistry was never built. It was never there. I mean, of course, we had bonds off the court, but it was just kind of just trying to build those on-court bonds, you know what I'm saying, just knowing when people, certain people do stuff, so. It's definitely a challenge, but I think, you know, right now, knowing my role is just going forward, it's, it's, it's helped us. Do you know frustrating moments, though? Because, you know, like last year, uh, Coach Hope talked a lot about how you having a big role this year, like you were a starter for you know, a good portion of last year, and then obviously having to come, come in later in because of the concussion and now with the team struggle. What have some of those, those frustrating moments been like if there have been some? Um, just kind of up and down, really. Um, just staying with it, sticking through it, and just working every day, honestly. There have been tough moments, but just working through it. You mentioned sort of your preseason expectations. Was one of those small ball center in crucial Big Ten games? Uh, yeah, Holtman did uh, talk about that like briefly. Um, you know, a couple of times during the offseason, he wanted to test it out, see how it looked. So, you know, we would kind of talk about it, watch videos on it. Um, I didn't actually think it was going to be implemented the way it did, you know, when Zay got hurt and everything. So it was definitely a little bit more, you know, to me it was kind of just like rushed, but, I mean, we were prepared for it. How do you, how does that change for you? You could be playing either of those roles. Obviously, one of them is different than what you're used to, though I guess some of your skill set applies there. Like, how, how do you prepare for either role you could play in a game? Um, it really didn't matter. I just, you know, prepare to play, prepare to help the team win. So, you know, I know there's a possibility I can go into the fall offs. You know, I'm scouting fall offs. I'm locked in on all that okay. stuff. You know, I'm locked in on wing stuff, guard stuff. So it's just, just staying locked in and being prepared for whatever I get. How do you evaluate how you've done at that position? I uh, definitely have a little assistance, you know, ask some coaches, talk around, um, just because, you know, it's not a position I'm truly familiar with, you know, I know enough to play it, but um, I just know go on the ins and outs, so just asking and just watch a film. After Sunday's game, Bruce was talking about how you guys were trying to be more free-flowing, free-spirited. Do you feel that way in your game, at least playing against this year? Uh, yeah, that is something we try to emphasize just to, you know, try to break up the rough tension that's been in the air lately with all the, you know, losses and stuff, so just trying to be free-flowing and have free spirits out there. I'm just as a team, it's kind of just where we can focus there. Northwestern's a team you guys had success against already this season. Does that help a little bit going into Thursday's game, facing an opponent that you have beaten before? It's been a few weeks, things have changed for both of you. But does that kind of give a good a good vibe going into this game? Uh, yeah, I would say so. You know, it does help going into a team that you beat already, although that was kind of a fluke game. You know, it doesn't happen too much in the Big Ten where you, you know, have scores like that. So, you know, we know that, we understand that. So we're preparing like, you know, their NCAA team. When you watch the, the film from that game and you see how you how well collectively you played, and you think of maybe some of the struggles you've had since, how different 
has maybe been has it been watching some of that film compared to how some of these more recent games have been? Um, it's honestly just you know it's honestly the same thing when we watch film. I only focus on you know the good, the bad that we need to work on, and then we you know look at the good that we need to improve on. So it's just kind of been the same with film. Okay. How nice is it to have consecutive home games? I think it's been since pre Big Ten that you guys have had that. Uh, I'm hoping it could like help us just get back on track. Honestly, you know, just playing home, playing in front of your home crowd, um, just getting wins here. I feel like it'll you know boost the ratings, boost the spirits. Not to oversimplify things, but the, the last two games, you guys have been playing from behind from the jump, and you haven't had a, a lead in either of them. How important is it for maybe this team to, when things haven't been going well to just get a lead? Um, I would say it's very important. That's why we're trying to you know stick together, stay together to go. You know, when teams go on those runs, that we can able to you know combat it, respond. Um, and just keep going, just keep fighting, take one possession at a time, just taking everything, you know, day by day, game by game, play by play. When you're constantly playing from behind, how does that, how do you feel that, does, does that pressure grow? Does that, does that build? Like, do you feel that, that you haven't had a lead in a while, or is that just something that you see on a stat sheet at the end of the game? Uh, yeah, I feel like it's just kind of something you see the stat sheet. We kind of just, you know, focus on the possession at hand. You know, there's no 10 point play. You know, you can't go out there and score 10 points in one play. So just trying to focus on one possession, one, one war, one, one game. And, uh, Holman yesterday told us how uh, Bruce has been voted into a captain role here. Uh, and, and I've actually had a couple people ask me what exactly a captain does on this team. And I just wonder from your viewpoint, because I know you have a leadership role in this team as well, what do captains do on this team? Um, captains are just everyday guys that, you know, they, they have team values first. Um, they're vocal. They just, they bought, bought into basically everything the team has going on. And they just, like, Solely focused on the team's best interest. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.